All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praises and glories unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Harachan Kodash, the belongs to the apostles, <coughs> and the elder bishops of the great millstone, who teach, rule well, and guide well, and lead well in the spirit of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai. Greetings, salutations, blessings, and much love unto you, hopeful elect out there. You of the elect that will be saved in these last days through the spirit of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai. Shalom unto you. <clears throat> Brother Shaquat here. Um, just want to, um, something on my spirit. I didn't have anything jot, jotted down or anything like that. But basically, I, I'm going to name it something like, or the, the premise or idea of this video, Lord, would not I hit the point and it's edifying, is basically, um, this is the end of the world um, as we know it. <laughs> Okay, in this form, this is it. You know, as much as we are in the spirit and we, you know, can't wait for the kingdom of heaven, we got to remember Jacob's trouble is coming, man. We got to remember the hour of temptation is coming. Okay, perilous times are coming. All right, and and as much as we have faith and believe that we'll it'll be all right. They still have to play this thing out, man. Okay? This thing still has to get played out in its proper way. All right? And it's not going to be a, a, a cakewalk, man. Let's, let's, let's get this straight. The left will make it through, but by the skin of their teeth, man. All right? So let me start here in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Um, that one says, But of the times and seasons, brethren... You have no need that I write unto you, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. It comes when you're not ready. Okay? And and when it comes, the drastic change from going to the grocery store, gas stations, and, you know, going to work and, 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 and all of that, you know, video games and shit like that, man. You know, listening to music. All that's over once that day comes. Okay? It's going to be abrupt uh, spiritually. Now, it, it, it's gradually happening, but it's going to be abrupt when it goes. And when it goes, it's going to be a drastic change. It's not going to be like this last uh, lockdown. It's not going to be like that. It's going to be worse. Okay? We got things on the loose, like in, in, the, in the Bay Area, you can see it. These thieves are just in just all different parts of the country, but particularly they're highlighting California. Um, people are just going in grocery stores or going in different stores and just stealing, just shoplifting, driving, driving, riding bikes, walking right out. And the people can't really stop them. Okay, and there's no real police force. So that purge energy is still coming. We, we ain't forgot at the new year, the laws change. Okay, a lot of laws will change coming into the new year. All right, and they've got on the books now that these uh, robo cops can can use lethal force. Okay, the, I'm gonna just call them Ed 209s, man. These Ed 209s can use lethal force. Okay, when I say that, I mean these robots, man. Okay, that that can just malfunction and go haywire. We're watching drones and whatnot happen in uh in in, in China already. We're watching different parts of the world go through this in, in subtle ways. Wait till they go to lock it all down. Now, even if this takes two, three, or more years, you know, and it don't happen January 1st, that's fine. But when it changes over, it's going to be a clear understanding that it changed over. So the scripture says, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord cometh as a thief in the night when you're not ready. It says, for when they shall say peace and safety... Then sudden destruction cometh upon them. Okay, right when everybody's feeling comfortable, peace, eating and, and doing all the things of, of comfort in the world, boom, then co uh, destruction cometh upon them. Then sudden destruction cometh upon them. Okay, this thing's going to change over man, in, in, in the worst way. All right, this is bad enough. But it's going to turn over in the worst where people are going to be starving. Man, all of this is in the scriptures. Okay? Starvation's in the scriptures. Cannibalism's in the scriptures. Okay? Famine is in the scriptures. 
pestilences is in the scriptures. Okay, earthquakes are in the scriptures. Okay, whirlwinds, storm and tempests is in the, the scriptures. Okay, those are natural things that are going to be happening. All right, let alone uh, economic collapses in the scriptures. Okay, these I'm, I'm gonna try to hit some of these. Lord, what the spirit of, spirit allows it, but just saying the the, the changeover is going to be dr dramatic. Okay, it says, uh, "As travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye brethren are not in darkness." That, ye, that that day should overtake you as a thief. As it says in Isaiah, the 30... Let me grab it. I'm going to try to jump around a little bit, but not get too far, Lord willing. It says, Isaiah 33 and 6, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the st stability of thy times. And knowing that this is coming, man, having the wisdom of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, understanding these prophecies, will be the stability of the times. Because the times are going to go from peace and safety stable into boom sudden destruction chaos okay it says and strength of salvation and it's what is going to carry you into salvation the fear of the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai fearing them is his treasure okay those that fear Yahweh by Hashem so when Yahweh Shai shows up and crack the skies and come through for another level of, 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 of what you would call sudden destruction or chaos Okay, with the, with, with the chariots, man. When they crack the sky with the chariots, and it looks like an alien invasion, and that, you know, who knows what the, what the media will tell you. Okay? And boom! And, and, all, of, and all the armies that'll be fighting World War III, when that happens, man, phew. okay? Just one level after the, after the next. All these things are gonna scare the shit out of you, man. Okay? They're, gonna, they're really gonna scare you to your stomach quivers, man. It, it hurts. Okay, scaring grown, strong men like it ain't nothing. It's going to scare the, 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 the elect as well. The men of the Lord is going to scare us too. But we're going to understand it, and then we're going to be held by it, as it says here. Let's go back to Thessalonians a little more on that. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, uh, verse 4 again. But ye brethren are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of light, and the children of the day we are not of the night nor darkness therefore let us not sleep as others as do others but let us watch and be sober and we're, we're watching these prophecies we're watching these events get closer and closer and preparing ourselves spiritually for this preparing to lose everything preparing to go a day or two without a meal preparing to, 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 to watch uh, uh, mass casualties okay preparing to see turmoil in the earth all right, it's in the prophecy. Preparing to see uh, dung, dung, people cast out like like shit in the streets, man. It says uh, that's how many dead bodies is gonna be. Okay, that that is it gonna be like like an like dogs is being walked in and, and shit on on the sidewalk right there on on the dirt. People are gonna be dead like that, and it's gonna smell equally or or, or far worse, should I say? It says uh. For they that sleep in the night and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love for an helmet and hope for of salvation. We have these things that we look forward to. These people are going to be confused and not, you know, as Babylon, uh, the word comes from the Hebrew word babal, which means confusion. Okay. And, and Babylon will, will be a confusion to these people, man. Talk about the, the U.S. of A. America will be a, a ball of confusion. The world will be a ball of confusion. Okay, under the inhabitants, the, the, these devils, man. All right, it says, um, "For the Most High have not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Yahweh Mashiach." So we have the opportunity for salvation because we we were given faith to believe in this thing enough to move us to works. Okay, in spirit and in truth. Um, Amos chapter 5 verse 18 Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord To what end is it for you The day of the Lord is darkness and not light We will be the light man. Yeah? Okay we are the children of the light So we'll be the light Those that are in contact with, 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 with the elect Particularly with the, the, the men of the Lord 
144,000 will be able to prophesy unto you people, man, and break things down for, for some of you, okay, as the apostles and the disciples did in the time of Acts, okay, edifying the church, moving around, doing what we got to do, okay, it says, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark, and no brightness in it? Okay, it's going to be terrible out there, man. It's going to be terrible out there. And that scenario from the 19th verse, it just being, it's just saying that death is going to pursue us uh, the two-thirds as well. Okay, it's going to pursue everybody, but the elect will have the wisdom and the spirit and the faith to, to earn the grace to get out of it, man. Okay? By by election. I don't want to say earn, but by election they'll get out of it. Lord willing, I'm of the elect. All right? From there, let's go to... Yeah, I like this one. John chapter 3, uh, verse 15. It says, That whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. And what is it that we have to believe? In the miracles... It'll look like chaos to a lot of these people, man. The, the, the miracles that are happening through the men of the Lord, through the spirit and power of you, how by Hashem Yahushai. Okay, to the elect. The, some of these things will look like, 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 like chaos to them. They won't understand that a man just came back to life, that a man was brought back to life, that a woman or a child was brought, brought back to life. Okay? By, 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 by the spirit, by the true God. And they're going to... And when they see how shy, man, they gonna think it's it's a, it's a negative thing happening, man. They're not gonna understand. It says, "For the Most High, yep, sixteen. For the Most High, so loved the world. That word there in world is cosmos, meaning a, a, a group, a select group of people, a certain world of people, like the world of sports or the world of martial arts, a select group out of the world, so to speak." It says, um that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life for the most high sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved and that world that we're talking about that small select group cosmos is the is israel okay particularly talking about the elect of israel the 144,000 in the one third. Okay? That's how the whole nation of Israel is going to come back through the loins. And when they come back, the, 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 the upgrade of the uh, covenant, the second covenant, okay, will be um, um, that we're upgraded and, and, and made perfect. Okay? So we won't sin and we'll be in the grace of the, of the Heavenly Father forever, in the power of the Heavenly Father forever. It says, um, and this, yep. Yep, 19. And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world, and men love darkness rather than light. The two thirds love darkness rather than light. So that's going to look normal to the majority of the world. The heathen also aren't going to understand. And it's going to look like uh, a, a, a negativity when, when, when the heathen see uh, the righteous things of the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. Okay? But we believe and we're going to hold. Uh, stiff with it, Lord willing, of course, right? It says, um, for everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, what's evil? Sinning. How, how do you do that? Do, breaking the statute laws and commandments and speaking evil uh, communication and, and wrong doctrine, man, guile. Okay? S saying that the Lord looks like a, a anybody but Yahweh Shai. Saying, you know, uh, describing him in the wrong way. Saying he looked like Cesare Borgia. Saying uh, his name is doesn't matter, or his name is Jesus, or whatever else, man. Okay, not true that that the whole world, everybody on earth, can be saved. You know, the the chosen on earth. No, they, you have to be an Israelite. Thus said the Bible. It says, uh, "For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light; neither come into the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. Unless you're willing to humble down and get corrected, man. Okay." The Spirit got to get on you to do that. It says, But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, man, that they are, 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 are the right things in the Most High in, in, in His Son. All right? If 
from there, let's go to, yeah, Matthew chapter 4, verse, uh, 24, verse 4. It says, Take heed that no man, it's like it. And Yahweh shall answer and send unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am the anointed, or I am the Christ, right? Which means anointed, and shall deceive many. There's always going to be these people that stand up. And, 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 and make believe like they're the savior, like they're the anointed saviors. And they're not. But when the real Yahweh Shai shows, a lot of people are going to reject him as well. Okay, but they'll accept some of these other guys, like the murderer Barabbas. Okay? And there's no new thing under the sun. It says, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. And these wars are eventually going to turn up and be real. World War Three, particularly. It says, see that ye be not troubled, for the, all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. Okay, these things are coming to the earth, man. It's going to be chaotic out there. So the, the life we're living now, yeah, it seems all nice and smooth and cool and whatever. And we can got the internet to go cuss the white man out and this and that and get on this and, and, and watch that. Man, all of these things are, are, are what they are now, but it's so fragile at any moment's notice it, it, it's going to change. At a moment's notice, this is all going to change. Okay, we're us that are watching and seeing it, we're, we're already seeing it, the change begin to happen because it is gradual as it happens. Okay, but when it clicks over, we're going to be like, damn, we saw this coming. And everybody's going to be like, what the hell's going on here? In a stupor, can't figure out what to do next. Okay, and they're going to seek the prophets, and they're not going to be out there to break it down to you. It says, Matthew 24, verse 8, it says, All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted. Look, they're going to pick up the, the righteous men to be afflicted, but some of you two-thirds are going to get caught up in that too. And shall kill you, and ye shall be hated for all nations for my name's sake. If you clicked on one of these videos but didn't believe, they're going to probably round you up just the same. Uh, let's see. And and then shall many be offended and shall betray one another. And many that, that, that seem like they believe is going to turn. Lord willing, I'm not one of those. Okay? Many, many, many people are going to turn the way they believe and when the heat comes down. Man, what's going to make you give away your faith? We, most of us know I'm from this tribe, I'm from that tribe, we got the kingdom of heaven coming, you know, and all of this, all the wonderful things coming, but going through it is going to make these people offended. And when you look up the word offended, I believe it's the word scandalazo, which means a uh, stumbling block. Let me check, because this might be a different word, the Bible Kusha, but bear with me. There it is, scandalazo, okay, G4624, scandalazo. To put a stumbling block or impediment in the way, I can't. I can't get past this, man. I can't be. I can't get past the fact that I gotta go to prison, that I get that I get my head under the guillotine. I don't want to believe that I that I that I'm hungry. I'm this hungry. I've never been this thirsty before. Okay, I don't have these comforts of the flesh. Can I can I truly separate myself from that? And, and it's, for some, it's going to impede that, man. They're going to be offended and can't get past it. And they're going to turn on, on on the righteous that can do it. Okay? Upon which another may trip and fall, metaphor offended, to entice to sin. Some are going to turn like like uh, when it says uh, in Second Edges. I'll grab it, Bible, because y'all bear with me. Okay, Second Edges 16, 68. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you yeah when that when that sudden destruction comes in like a flood even and shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols with with sinful abominable meats and some people are going to do it some people are going to be so hungry they're going to believe the lie and take it man whether that be the MOTB or or, or literal um uh abominable meat okay some people are gonna take that m-a-r-k man they're gonna take it that 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 karagma karagma okay they're gonna take that thing man all right and, and, and it sucks man 
All right, it says, uh, because you don't get jacked up. So, and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. Even though it seemed to get you out of the trouble uh, for now, it's going to turn out to be worse. Laugh now, for you shall mourn and weep. It says, for there shall be in, in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Man, it's going to turn bad. The whole anti cemetery, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be thrown at the men of the Lord. We're going to be racist. We're going to be haters. We're going to be all the, the worst things. Okay? We're going to be all the worst things in the eye of all the people that we were out there teaching to and, and, and that don't, you know, that don't believe. Those that believe are going to understand. Okay? Though we're doing a righteous thing, they're going to believe it was something wrong. Man, and they're going to come against us. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. Yeah, so we're going to be completely transformed, melted down to the, the pureness and the essentials of who we are. Okay? We're going to melt away all the impurities in our spirit, man. And that's when the spirit of Yahweh Shah will be seen within us. Whatever spirit, a part of their spirit we have within us, that's going to shine, man. Okay? That part of our spirit is going to shine. Okay? And be pure. And all of the fleshly man of, of, and woman of who we were is going to be gone, man. Completely humbled. All right? And will we still have integrity in that low moment? Okay, hear ye, O my beloved, saith the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand. No one is coming, but I will deliver you from the same. Have a vote of confidence, man. Have some belief. Do the things necessary through the Spirit, man. That's going to get you saved. It's in the book. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt. For Yahweh by Hashem Yahshua is your guide and a guide to them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord, Yahweh power. Okay, let not your sins weigh you down and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Don't get out of control. The things that you can control, control those. The faults that you do, control them. The ones you can't, hey man, uh, uh, ask for forgiveness for that, man. And try to keep it to a minimum. Hide your sins, hide your folly. Okay, we all got it. We're all impure, but we're all trying to, to, to make it, man. We're all doing the best we can out here. Okay. And if uh, let another brother guide you in how he's doing it, how he's making it work. It may be something that, that works for you or a sister, you know, take advice from your husband that, that when he tells you, like, hey, cut this off and start doing this. When you're brought to a man of the Lord, these these benefits of, of, of the wisdom through your Yahweh Shemuel Shah can flow, man. All right? Anyway, I digress. Um, all right? So we was talking about Matthew 24, Scandalazo, let's see, to cause one to judge unfavorably, unjustly, or, or of another. So, yeah, even though they've known us to be good people, righteous dude, oh, he was a good guy, man, I don't know why. Dang, he was into that. Dang, he was a black Hebrew Israelite. Dang, that's, they going to believe it, man, and they ain't going to get past it. Some of the people that believe, I knew I knew them was some. I knew it. All that's going to happen, man, since one who stumbles or whose foot gets entangled feels annoyed. Like both his shoelaces is tied, man. You get annoyed at, at what the, the, the men of the Lord and prophets are doing. That's why this conversation is sparking up with Ye and then uh, with, with Kyrie. Sparking, the, well, well, I can't even say Kyrie, man. You just got to say from this H to N, okay, Hebrews to Negroes, <laughs> right? From that to it's stirring up the conversation, man, and making it uncomfortable out there. Okay? Making it real uncomfortable, says, uh, to cause one displeasure at a thing. And they're going to be at displeasure at the men of the Lord. To make indignant, to be displeased, indignant. All right, I got a precept. Wisdom of Solomon, uh, chapter 2, verse... Uh, I'll start at 12. Therefore, let us lie in wait for the righteous because he is not for our turn. He's not out here making us feel good. They're not going to like the changes that are happening, man. That's why when, in the book of Matthew it also talks about in Matthew, the 10th chapter, it talks about 
how, how it says it in Matthew 24 as well. A brother shall, shall turn on brother, father against the mother, the mother against the daughter-in-law, and so on and so forth. Man, your family, go, and they uh, shall be foes of their own household. Okay, that all of that, man, is, is coming in these times, man. People are going to truly turn. People are going to truly turn on, on one another. He said, because he is not for our turn, and he is clean contrary to our doings. Oh, he, he thinks he's holier than thou. Well, we're, I'm rehearsing the righteous acts. I don't eat that. I don't do those things that you do. And you expect to get benefit? Okay, it says, He abradeth us with our offending the law. They can't get past not eating pork, eating shrimp. You know, and then that day come when you ain't supposed to eat those things, guess what Jake gonna do? Some of these Jakes is gonna, gonna, gonna get weak and eat those things. Man, I pray that it's not mine, that it's not me, that I don't offend you know, Yahweh Bar Shimi Al Shai. Okay, in, in, in any of those ways, that I do all the righteous things that He put the Spirit on me to, 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 to do those things. Okay, we got to pray. Praying is something that Jake really don't do. They don't know how to pray or who to pray to. Okay, we're, we're already rehearsing those righteous acts of how to do it. Okay, in the in the proper name. It says, um, then the object of our infamy the transgressing of our education. He professes that the knowledge of God, excuse me, he professes to have the knowledge of God. He calls himself a child of the Lord. He was made to reprove our thoughts. Okay? They don't like it to correct them. We don't like being, Jake don't like being corrected, man, by somebody that they feel is on their level or lesser. He is grievous unto us even to behold just the sight of what he's out there doing what, what we out there on this internet doing and out on the street corners doing, man, is, is, is peeving these people, man, the two-thirds. That they in captivity. Okay, the, the rest of the people of earth don't really like it either. Some of them say, oh, you're doing a good job. Heathens will say it. Every once in a while, Jake a high five. But yeah, I know about this. Yeah, good to keep up the good work. But when the heat gets turned on in Jacob's trouble, they're not going to be happy about it, man. They're going to turn on us faster than, a, than you know, than a the, than the fresh... Uh, 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 electric electricity on, on payday, man. I'm telling you, man, it's about to get bad out here. It says, um, he is grievous unto us to behold. His life is not like other men's. His ways are are of another fashion, man. Oh, I can't get down with that, man. What y'all be doing? I can't. I can't get down with that, man. Y'all, y'all be doing too much, man. Out there cussing and screaming, and y'all don't got no bitches. Y'all ain't got no money. Yeah, man. So what? So when all that's taken away, then what? When all that's taken away, then what? What are we gonna have then? Okay, who gonna have what then? It says, uh, we are esteemed of him as counterfeits. Yeah, I can read it. He abstaineth from our ways as from filthiness. He stays away from what we like to do. He pronounces that uh, the end of the just to be blessed and make it his boast that God is his father. And they can't boast that. And they're going to hate the fact that we boasted. That Yahweh by call law, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. They're going to hate that. Call law, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay, all praises to Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai, his only begotten son. All right. It says, uh, let us see if his words be true. If the prophecies they speak come true, and let us prove what shall happen in the end of him. Okay. Yep. For if the just man be the son of God, he will help him and deliver him from the hands of his enemies. Let us examine him with despitefulness and torture. That we may know his meekness and prove his patience. Let us condemn him with the shameful death, for by his own saying he shall be respected. Such did such thing did uh, they did imagine and were deceived, for their own wickedness have blinded them. That was what's going to happen to these people, man. Your own wicked heart in you is what's going to keep what keeps you from seeing this truth, and you not believing. Okay. It says, for as for the mysteries of, of the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Shai, they knew them not, neither hoped they for the wages of righteousness, nor discerned a reward for blameless souls. And there's going to be a resentment there, man. 
and they're gonna blame us that things are just so much worse because we're because you you don't eat pork, so now you fucking up everything. This family, this everybody, man, gonna be upset. Okay, just blaming us for the, the most childish things. This stuff was coming anyway during this Great Reset, Scamdemic, uh, uh, NWO, all right? Whatever phrase you want to, apocalypse, whatever you want to put on it, man. Okay, it was coming anyway, all right? Whether it was planned by, by, by the Illuminati or, 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 or the Most High, man, it, it was going down, all right? We know ultimately the Most High uh, came up with it. For Yahweh yeah, created man to be, okay, that's going to something else. I don't want to go to that. Let's go to Romans 11 right quick. Yep. Let's, uh, yeah, uh, Romans chapter 11, verse, uh, I started uh, at one. It says, I say, then have God cast away his people, God forbid, for I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin, that's Paul speaking. Uh, God have not cast away his people, which he foreknew. What not, what ye not what the scripture said of Elijah, okay, how he maketh intercession to God against Israel, saying, Lord, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thine altars, and I am left alone, and they seek my life. Okay? That's what happened back then. It's going to happen again. But what saith the answer of Yahweh unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Okay, a complete number, men, the elect, that have not bowed the knee. Even so, then, at this present time, also, there is a remnant according to election of grace. So, though you may feel alone, you won't be, man. There'll be other believers going through the same, you know, similar situations, man. Simpler, similar events and bad bad times. It says, um, for if by, uh, yeah, according to election of grace, if, and if by grace, then it is no more of works, other Wise grace is no more grace, but if be but if it be of works, then it is no more grace. Otherwise, work is no more work. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. And there's going to be a, a resentment and jealousy there, is, you know, that they can't see it. And then we're not going to want to tell them anyway. It says. Matter of fact, let me grab that. No, I'll read this, then I'll grab that. According to as it is written, the Most High have given them the spirit of slumber, eye that they should not see, and ear that they should not hear unto this day. I was speaking of uh, uh, Isaiah that said that. Uh, David said, And David saith, Let their table be made a snare, and a trap, and a stumbling block, and a recompense unto them. And let their eyes be darkened, that they may not see, and bow down their back always. And see, he's pissed as we're going to be pissed that our people are turning on us, man. That's what's going to hurt the most, that our own people turn on us. Okay? Our own people are going to turn on us like our own people told Caesar, man. Kill him. Let, let his blood be upon us. Let, let Barabbas go free. Or Barabbas, however you pronounce it. All right? First, let me see at the end of the three. First Peter... Um, chapter uh, yeah that was us um, yeah I'll just start up here 1 Peter 4 um, 1 it said for as much as Yahweh Shai the anointed have suffered for us in the flesh wait Salaki I forgot something let me read something else real quick all right, let's get Amos 8 and 11 because they're going to be mad that we didn't tell them, that we don't want to talk about it no more, man. Hey, is there any more talk when the, when the door of the ark is closed? No. All right, behold, uh, Amos chapter 8, verse 11, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. It's not going to be a breakdown for you no more, man. You, now's when you're supposed to get them breakdowns. And if you ain't got them, you didn't get the oil for yourself, there ain't going to be any oil to share. All right? 
and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai and shall not find it. Okay? And in that day shall the fair virgins and young men faint for thirst. And like I said, the, 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 wise, the five wise and five foolish virgins, man. Okay? Who gained that oil and who didn't? Another one, yeah, Ezekiel. That's toward the end of that chapter. Oops. Ezekiel 3. It's like right here. Yep. 3 verse 26. And I will make the, thy tongue cleave to the root of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb and shall not be to them a reprover. We're not going to correct you. It's going to be too late, man. We're, gonna, we're not going to break it down to you. We're not going to teach you how not to catch your judgment. Okay, for they are a rebellious house. All right. Now let's go back to um, Peter. All right. First Peter uh, chapter 4, verse 1. Now, you see, we, we won't be a reprover of their sins. Tell them how to, how to, how to not sin. They're going to be just caught in it. They rehearsed them righteous acts. Okay, it says, For as much as I... As, excuse me, for as much then as Yahweh Shai has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. Okay, get in that same mind and spirit. For he that have suffered in the flesh hath ceased from sin. Okay, we listen to the uh, reproving. Uh, he that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of men like these other people that's going to be in confusion that's going to turn angry because we ain't in that same spirit like they are but to the will of the most high but we already turned to the will of the most high I had a family member tell me hey man you ain't God I was like man you shouldn't be doing this hey man you ain't God like it didn't even necessarily go with it. I wasn't saying nothing like stop eating this or that but because I said, hey, man, you shouldn't be. Why would you do that to everybody else? And just anything I said, I didn't even bring a scripture, none of that. Man, you ain't God. And I was like, you know what? You're right. But I do work for him. So I know what he wants. You know? And that's just, uh, you know, something that, that was said. But think about it, man. Hey, you don't know him. You don't even claim to know him. The other people don't, don't claim to know him. We actually know, and we can reprove with his word, teach and correct and, and show the way of repentance, man. All right? That's what the prophets are out here doing, man. Been doing it. Apostles, you know, been doing it for, for decades, man. The word has been going out righteously, man, for decades. It says, um, uh, for the time past of our life may suffice that uh, suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles when we was in a Gentile state of mind. We did enough of that. Let me see what, what it say in the other version. Bear with me. So I'll read through the NLT. Let's see. Uh, yeah, let's see. So then, this is First Peter 4 and 1 NLT. So then, since Yahweh Shai has suffered physically, physical pain, you must arm yourself with the same attitude he had. And be ready to suffer too. For if you have suffered physically for Yahweh Shai, you have finished with sin. You won't spend the rest of your lives chasing your own desires, but you will be anxious to do the will of Yahweh. Okay, we won't be in the same things that we used to do. It says you will you have had enough in the past of the evil things that godless people enjoy read it again you have had enough in the past of the life excuse me have had enough in the past of the evil things that godless people enjoy we did it already man we you know it was more than enough i wish i would have never sinned but hey this was the road lord willing uh my, my sins are blotted out man with the elect it says uh there in immorality and lust their feasting and drunkenness and wild parties and their terrible worship of idols okay read it in the KJV I like the KJVs also so for the time past our life must suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles godless people 
you know, that's how we were acting as Jake's. You know, we lost the Most High. It says, when we walked in lasciviousness, lust, excess of wine, reveling, banqueting, and abominable idolatries. In LT number four, it says, of course, your former friends are surprised that you no longer plunge into the flood of wild and destructive things they do. So they slander you. It says, where, KJV, wherein they think it strange that you run not with them to the same excess of riot speaking evil of you. Okay. NLT, but remember that they will have to face God who will judge everyone, both the living and the dead. That is why the good news, the gospel, right, was preached to those who are now dead. So although they are uh, destined to die like all people, they now live forever with the Most High in the Spirit. Yeah, man, that's the beautiful thing. Even if, if, if the, the, us that become martyrs, man, even the elect that become martyrs, man, it, it's beautiful to live in the Spirit of Yahweh Hashem Shai, man. We have much more value and quality of life than these two thirds out here, man. Just poly, Molly Percocet, you know, mumble rap. You know, if that's your thing, that's cool too. But I'm just saying, if you just into a certain vibration that you don't know what the hell's going on, you just follow your emotions everywhere. You're just chasing greenbacks and, 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 and the next fix on your drugs and your zoom, 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 wham, whams. It's just dumb. It's just an endless cycle of, of, of stupidity, man on our people of just sinning and, and making the Heavenly Father more angry and more angry. Okay, it says that the good news, the gospel, was preached to those that are now dead, although they are were destined to die like all people, they now live forever in the Most High, uh, with Yahweh in the Spirit. The end of the world is coming soon. Therefore, be earnest and disciplined in your prayers. Okay, most important of all, continue to show deep love for each other, for love covers a multitude of sins. Okay? And, and, and that's why charity is, is let, me, let me read it again. Verse 7, KJV. But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. Okay? Locked in and, and, and watching what's going on. And above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves. Let's see what that charity is all about. Okay? Because they, they translate it into the word love. Okay? Agape. A lot of you Christians say you know what this means, man. Affection, goodwill, love, benevolence, brotherly love. Okay? Affection. Uh, dear love um, it's talking about that you have like when you see the men of the Lord amongst one another man that brotherhood is, is real love man you can see the, it's real agape man unconditional love even as Christians would break it down okay let's see if they got anything else for us in that uh, let's see here T twenty five Agapio Agapeo of persons to welcome, to entertain, to be fond of, to love dearly, of things to be well pleased, to be contended at or with a thing. Beloved, okay, to love in a social and moral sense. Okay, the right way, man, that, that, that brothers should be, that men and women should be, that men, women, and children should be. Okay, and what do we learn that through the scriptures, man? Let's go back, I'll take us all the way back to Peter. First Peter chapter 4, I am at uh, NLT number 9. Cheerful, cheerfully share your home with those who need a meal or a place to stay. All right, God has given each of you a gift from the great variety of spiritual gifts. Use them to serve one another. Okay, showing us what that agape is really all about. Okay, 
and it's going to be strange to these people and they're going to hate us more for it okay and because especially because we ain't going to share with them man the scriptures say don't share with them let's go to it i believe i'm going to show this one it's in sirach that was with solomon so like in sirach 12 it's like right up there yep uh Yep, six for the most high hated sinners, not just the sin, he hates the sinner as well, and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly and keepeth them against the mighty day of their punishment. Take us trouble, man, it's coming, man. Okay, give unto the good and help not the sinner. See it? So you're going to be upset when we don't help you, man, because the first chance you get, man, you're going to turn on us. As it's going to read down. Okay. Uh, I'll read verse 8. A friend cannot be known in prosperity. Yeah, when things are good, everybody's good. And an enemy cannot be hidden in adversity. So when things go bad, that's when your real, you know, intentions is going to show up, man, to be evil. Okay. In the prosperity of a man, enemies will be grieved. But in his adversity, even a friend will depart. Okay. Let's go back. First Peter uh, four eleven NLT. Do you have the gift of speaking? Then speak as though God Himself were speaking through you. Do you have the gift of helping others? Do it with all the strength and energy that God supplies. Then everything you do will bring glory to the Most High through Yahweh Shai. All glory and power to him forever and ever. Amen. All right. Now it gets really good, right? Dear friends, do not be surprised at the fiery trials you are going through as if something strange were happening to you. Instead, be very glad. For these trials make you part partners with Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, in, the, in his suffering so that you will have the wonderful joy of seeing his glory when it is revealed to all the world. Because we see it now. We see him now. They don't see him yet. And when it shows up, when we see him, we're going to be uh, rejoicing that he showed up. And we're going to praise him when he, when he shows up. Okay, but these other people going, oh, he going, he, what is this alien invasion? They're going to be bugged the hell out, man. They're going to be bugged the hell out. And they're going to be mad at the prophets, man. They'll be mad at those that believe. Okay? So be happy when you are in, uh, insulted for being a Christian or an, a believer in this truth as they would deem you a Hebrew Israelite or as, as a prophet or, you know, of the elect, the hopeful elect. Anyway, it says, For then the glorious spirit of Yahweh rested upon you. If you suffer, however, it must not be for murder, stealing, making trouble, or prying into other people's affairs. But it is no shame to suffer for being a believer, a Christian, it says here, one of the anointed ones. Okay, that's what it actually Christian means, is anointed ones. Okay, praise Yahweh for the privilege of being called by his name beautiful man take it cheerfully it says for the time has come for for judgment and it must begin at god's household and if judgment begins with us what terrible fate awaits those who never obeyed god's good news whoo man they're gonna be pissed man they're gonna be pissed all the world is gonna be pissed edomites the other nations the two-thirds man they're gonna be pissed and also, if the righteous are barely saved, what will happen to the godless sinners? If you so are, excuse me, so if you are suffering in a manner that pleases God, keep on doing what is right. Meaning you're already doing it. That's why you're serving righteously. Uh, suffering righteously. Yep. KJV real quick. It says, Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of of Yahweh commit 
the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing as unto a faithful creator. Yeah, man, that somebody, if you continue doing what I tell you, things going to go right for you. It says, so if you are suffering in a manner that pleases God, keep on doing what is right and trust your lives to the to the God who created you for he will never fail alright even though these days are coming man enjoy them while they in this the, the, that you can see these prophecies in this state rejoice in the fact that, that you can see this truth and you've got the prophecies and the breakdowns and the prophets are back you know and, and the men of the Lord are back on that King David's army's back Okay, we're all we're, we're we're back. We're about to you know get up out of here, man. Our captivity is over. Okay, it ain't fully over, but it's at the end. It's at the end of it, man. Enjoy this leg before it collapses, and really turn up the rejoicing, man. When it truly collapses, when the world is crumbling and falling apart, and every man is, is frustrated and hates one another, man. That's when the, the true love of the brotherhood will be there, man. That's when the true love of the elect will be there. Okay, that's when the example will be set. And they will have no real blame on the ministry, though they're going to defame us, man. So I'm going to end it there. Lord willing, this was edifying. Give it all praises and glory unto Yahweh Bashim, Yahshai Bashim, Archakodash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Greetings, salutations, blessings. Much love unto your elect. Until the next one. Shalom.